About two years ago, I was playing around on Google Maps, just clicking on mountain icons in mountain ranges that I found just here in the West. And I clicked on an icon for Cloud Peak in Wyoming. And it looked like a delightful mountain. Uh, it was remote in northeastern Wyoming. I mentioned it to Kristoff, and we never got around to coming out here. And they kind of just set it aside for a while. About a week ago, my work wanted me to come up to Miles, Montana. And I said yes, thinking it might be close to Glacier National Park and I could get something done out there. And then when I looked and I saw where it was in the middle of nowhere, Montana, I thought, ah, oh, great, what could I do? And lo and behold, what should be nearby or relatively nearby, Cloud Peak. It's over 13,000 feet. It's going to be a 22 mile day with about 5,500 feet of climbing. And I'm hoping we'll make this drive that I had to do for work that much better. It's almost 5 a.m. I'm gonna just throw on my clothes and get started. And the best part of all of this is that work is footing the bill. And that's no small thing since gas is like a billion dollars a gallon. Sleep, the town near here. I've never seen more vans than I saw in that place. So many camper vans, sprinter vans. I felt like if you carpet bomb this area, you'd eliminate at least 90% of the van life. While I was researching coming out here, a couple things caught my attention in the comments from people who've already done this. First one is, a lot of people mentioned the boulder hopping. Six miles of boulder hopping. The other thing, mosquitoes, which fortunately I haven't seen yet. And post holing can be a possibility this early. And last of all, sudden weather, including wind. Part of the reason I never came out here with Kristoff was because every time I checked the weather, it's like 50 mile an hour winds and freezing cold. Right now, just making my way up to Misty Moon Lake. And I have to go around that. Right about Misty Moon is where the trail ends. And then the boulder hopping begins, I believe. Behold, Misty Moon Lake. And also, the report about the mosquitoes, yes, very true. I've had to swim through clouds of mosquitoes along this trail, but they've kind of disappeared as the morning's gone on. You can see Cloud Peak, just right there. Looks close, but you know how these things go. The rock hopping has begun, and this is kind of like Gannett Peak. In between the rocks are these giant spider webs, the big fat spiders in the middle. My biggest fear is just face planting in one of those spider webs. I'd probably puke instantly if I did that.
no joke, this is unbelievably beautiful. Did not expect it at all. It's got a bit of Glacier National Park, a little bit of the Wind Rivers, kind of mixed up, just rocky, remote, lots of water, awesome place. I'm sure there's tons of people out there who already knew all this, but this is new to me. So cool, so very cool. Supposed to be 22 miles, 5,300 feet of climbing. I'm already at 12 miles, so 24 round trip, and only at 3,600 feet of climbing. I do have a ways to go for the summit, so I might collect all that vert, but still, it seems like the mileage is off. It's a gorgeous day and I've got nothing else to do. And I just have to remind myself that work is paying for this. Alright, Summit of Cloud Peak, 13,180 feet. This has been 13 miles to get to this point, so going to be a marathon. Didn't plan on that, but also the thought of running a marathon right now doesn't necessarily make me upset. I'm just going to flip around here and then boulder hop all the way back down to that nice trail and then run back to my car. I actually don't mind boulder hopping. I find it to be a nice distraction. It kind of gets you into like a flow, like when you're playing, you know, Mario really well. So, cool peak. There's even a glacier right down there. Tiny little glacier, but still, this mountain range has a glacier, which is more than I can say for any mountain range in Utah. Awesome place, Cloud Peak Wilderness, an unexpected gem out here in northeastern Wyoming. I was talking to some people from Minnesota and they said basically there's nothing between this mountain range and their house in terms of big mountains. This is the frontier. Beyond there lies the flat plains. Twenty-five and a half miles with 5,500 feet of climbing. It's not quite a marathon, but it felt like one, especially with all that rock hopping. Imagine if the Boston Marathon in the middle just had a ton of rock hopping. It would definitely slow people down. I did this in eight hours, which is kind of what I was aiming for. I feel like that's pretty fast with all the filming I have to do. It was a feast for the eyes. The entire run was just beautiful from start to finish. 